This morning in congregations large and small across the country and around the world, Unitarian Universalists are celebrating and gathering. We hurriedly stop in our usual scramble to get out the door to fill a small bottle or jar with water from our tap, water that might symbolically represent the water we forgot to gather on our summer travels or non-travels. Does any actual water from lakes or streams ever make it to water communion? Watershed moments are turning points, those moments often recognized in retrospect, moments that are permanently altering an understanding. This morning we come together to share insights gained on any travels or perhaps to reflect on the everyday holiness of the water that flows in abundance from our garden hose. Please join me in a moment of silent reflection as we enter into our sacred time together. Water unites us. All water is one water, shape-shifting as it goes on and on its unending cycle. The stream we gather by unites us all, the water of the world, for all of life depends on water. That's why this common everyday element on which our very lives depends is sacred. In our thankfulness for water, let us remember to honor, cherish, and care for it for our own lives for all life is touched by water and for those who come after us. Rain falls upon the surface of the earth and is pulled by gravity. Each drop begins to flow downhill. Drop merges with drop flowing together into a trickle, into a streamlet, a creek, a mighty river flowing onwards. Some of the water seeps down into the earth itself as groundwater or deep aquifers where it will stay for days, years, even millennia, until it's pulled up again by tree roots, wells, springs, and geysers, rejoining the dance, flowing, flowing, flowing. The water flows on until it collects in ponds, lakes, seas, and vast oceans. And all the while, the sun's rays warm the water, calling it back into vapor, so light that it can rise up, up, up each molecule moving on its own again, rising into the higher atmosphere, buoyant and swirling up to where the air grows cool and the water vapor slows and cools and begins to turn back into droplets. Droplets, fine droplets, and join together again and again and again, forming clouds growing heavier and heavier until at last the weight of them pulls them down again and rain falls on the surface of the earth. Everywhere on earth, at every moment, somewhere is in this cycle, cycle upon cycle, flowing, falling, sinking, rising, transforming again and again and again. Our planet has all the water it will ever have and has ever had. This water cycle has been spiraling around us for more than four and a half billion years. This means the water that we gather for our annual ritual comes from all of the water of the world and also across all of time on planet Earth. The water we gather today has traveled through the root systems of trees long since returned to the soil, burst from geysers that have ceased spraying millennia ago and flowed down rivers that changed the course entirely over millions of years. This morning, we also remember that the water cycle doesn't only involve rivers and plants and clouds, but involves creatures. The water cycle through us, Two, coming in and out of our bodies in many different ways. 
It means that the molecules of water you gather from the beach could have been tears of joy or sorrow cried by a first person who ever felt love or the water from our church sink contains within it molecules that were in the best chicken soup someone ever ate or the sweat of the people who built our church and our town or in the blood of mothers that birthed their grandmothers, 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 or even in their pee. <laughs> what and when and where else do you imagine that this water has been? As we gather the waters of community this morning, let us remember that they connect us to everything that has ever been and everything that ever will be. This is the power of water that we share. In 1980, two Unitarian Universalist women, Carolyn McDade and Lucille Shuck Longview, were asked to create a worship service for the Women and Religion Continental Convocation of Unitarian Universalists. As they shaped that service, McDade and Longview wanted to create a new ritual that spoke to our connectedness to one another, to the totality of life and to our place on this planet. They included a new inclusive symbol of women's spirituality, water. They write, water is more than simply a metaphor. It is elemental and primary, calling forth feelings of awe and reverence, acknowledging that the ocean is considered by many to be the place from which all life on our planet came. It is the womb of life, and that amniotic waters surround each of us prenatally. We now realize that this worship service was for us a new story of creation. We choose water as our symbol of our empowerment. The November service held in East Lansing, Michigan was called Coming Home Like Rivers to the Sea. As its creators, McDade and Longview enacted their ritual in the liberating space of a semicircle around a large earthenware bowl. They asked eight different women each coming from distant places to bring water, and they did. Water from the Rio Grande and Assiniboine rivers, rainwater from Maryland, water from the Pacific and Atlantic oceans, and others were poured into the earthenware bowl as each bearer described its significance. As the ritual is continued, says Carolyn McDade, water deepens in meaning for us, just as water deepens during its long and winding journey to the sea. The ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus of Ephesus is famous for one belief. He taught his students that change is certain, and because things always change, he declared, we can never step twice into the same stream so too our congregation today differs from the congregation that gathered here for, with water last year and the year before that. And yet last year is still in our collective memory and the year before and the year before that. It is our tradition to mix in some water saved from our previous year's water ceremony, adding it to this year's gathered waters. In that way, the past has carried on with the present our past is always with us. A portion of the water in that bowl has been gathered in our first water ceremony 